Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 975. Hello, it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Today, the return of the much loved feature into an interview with singer songwriter Frank Denall. Frankie Denall. He's a Frankie, frankly. Plus, we hear from Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, the brewmaster, and hello, Mike's Daily Podcast. It's me. Hello from the other side, Adele. She's sweet. Mike's Daily Podcast. But she's not touring in America. No, just everywhere else. Well, Thanksgiving came and went, and what the heck, what the heck? There was slaving in the kitchens and stilted conversations and people sitting around tables and lots of placing of labels on each other, but it was much fun seeing my loved ones. Now I just need to find a space in this parking lot. Mike's Daily Podcast. I watched that cutthroat competition that had to do with dogs. Mike's Hosted by Daily That Seinfeld guy Podcast on Thanksgiving. Yeah! John O'Hurley. John O'Hurley. That's a tradition I love on Thanksgiving. That uh, pet show thing with all the dogs. And they're so cute. Walking around. With their heads like perfectly level and they're walking really fast at the try. Isn't that great? I also enjoy the tradition of trying to remain awake after eating the fatal combo of turkey, uh, gravy, and delicious mashed potatoes. But I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a lot of negativity in the world. I'm sensing people just, ah, Black Friday. Bleh. Why can't it be Happy Friday? Why can't it be, uh, d- I can't wait to shop and spend money on my best friend Friday. So that's gone, that Friday. And the stilted conversation, I just, I, I remember many Thanksgivings where people are sitting around, and it's not anybody's fault, it's just that you eat all that food and you don't know what to talk about, so you're just sort of like, you go to the tried and true, burnt out topics. Uh, how's, how's your job? And you know, really nobody can reply honestly about how their job is because there's so many complicated intricacies. In, in, oh, just well, uh, speaking of which, you look who just walked in. Hi, Mike. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? That's a disgruntled fiddle player tell you what. What? Go on with that intricacy thing you were talking about. People at, you know, there's all kinds of things going on at work. You, you, you've got your work dynamics. And when you've been doing it for a while... Ah, ah. Sorry, Mike. I just took off my sweater and there was static electricity. There, there's so much of that going on now. Yeah. The, so the, and, and you're trying to talk about that at the t- dinner table. It's impossible to cover all those things. So, instead... You uh, go to other interesting current event topics, like, for example, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, when it blew up, uh, apparently, that that was a while ago, the pieces are now washing up near England, somewhere. Uh, A huge chunk of debris from the rocket was found floating in the remote isles of Skilly, uh, over by England? This is insane. That's so far away. And Ben Carson's going to visit Syrian refugees because he loves them so much and wants them all to come here. Which uh, he does not, of course. But, yeah. And look who else just walked in. Hello, Mike. I make the root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. Uh, Brewmaster, the root beer that you make, it's amazing how root beer is taking off again. People love root beer. They... uh, you're going to become popular and, and make a lot of money. No, nah, nobody drinks my root beer. Not even a little bit? No, nah, I hate it. Oh. But I make the root beer. Well, good. Root beer is... Uh... Yeah. And then there was the uh, website, mikesdailypodcast.com, where you can go and check out the show and the blog, uh, the podcast picture... In fact, today's podcast picture 
getting a little ahead of myself once again, but it has to do with my dog, Basil the Boxer, and an interesting uh, situation he got into with some cows. Yes, but all's well. So we'll have that, and if you want to help us out and you're going to buy anything on Amazon, go to that link there at mikesdailypodcast.com. Buy whatever it is you're going to buy through Amazon. I'm, I think I'm going to be purchasing a blender. I don't know. Just, blenders are awesome. I'm all into blending these days, and I make my Matthews Chino with them, so swell. That, check all that out at MikeStellyPodcast.com. Into an interview. Hello, Frankie Tanol. How are you? Are you in Massachusetts? Yes, I am. Where are you, Cali? California, yes. And well, people. I lived in San Jose for a while. Does oh, that count? How was that? It was awesome. I love Big Sur, Santa Cruz. I'm an old hippie, dude. Wow. So, it's like but, home, you know, when I moved across... I didn't think I was going to leave there. So, I mean, that was like, I locked right in, man. It was like going through a, a time portal or something. When I was out there, it was the early 80s, and it was just like, man, it was like home sweet home, all the people out there. It was just like I totally chilled with them. And, uh, yeah, smoke it and hung out, man. That was cool. Big Sur is beautiful. I haven't been there in years. Yeah. And, and yeah. San Jose, so that was pre-Bill Gates, or was he around then? Was uh Steve Jobs making things then? No idea. He was probably a teenager at that time, man. <laughs> yeah, that was early. I was, I was really out there like 80, 1979 and 80. You could probably buy a house then for four bucks. Now probably. they're like five billion for, uh, it's ridiculous the prices in San Jose now. Because it's all Silicon Valley. Yeah. Well, you could live with your cousin and uh, live for free, or, or you could live on a commune, man, and just everybody got along then. Oh, what were the, the dates? What were the communes like, Frankie? <laughs> it was just like you picture them. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that and move forward. Here we are today. There's no communes. <laughs> so I, I think the, that experience may have informed your music because I feel sort of a George Harrison sound in your voice. I get that very, very rarely, like once or twice over all the years. I um, have to admit, that's a, a little bit different, but you've got the, you're right in the pocket. I get uh, more John Lennon. John and, Lennon. Absolutely, most of the time. And then uh, occasional Tom Petty. Right. And then it depends. This particular song, Butterfly, has definitely got that Beatle esque, they say. Yeah. And, uh, and then there's other occasions where I write songs that sound like uh, Bob Dylan or the Tom Petty voice. Depends on the mood I'm in and how the song's moving. Who was your favorite Beatle? It was John. Well, he was the leader, and he had the most unique personality. Um, he wasn't afraid to be himself, and he stood alone, even if it meant walking away. So there was a lot of uh, similarities. I've watched clips, and my, my kids actually said, what are you guys, separated at birth or something? <laughs> Or joined at the brain or what, you know? Wow. Well, yeah, John Lennon did write some amazing songs. Even his solo stuff was amazing. Uh, yeah, all the... It's just remarkable looking back at the Beatles stuff. But I feel... I guess I feel sort of like that 70s rock, folk rock sound in your music. Uh, the, the two songs that I have here, Butterfly and Woe, kind of yes. remind me of that. Okay. Keep digging, my friend. <laughs> You got plenty of on there. And and tell me now, so who is the female voice that I hear on um, backup vocals on these songs? That's me, Butterfly. That's my wife. She's my harmony, man. Would that be Wendy? Yes, it is. Oh, yep. good. <laughs> God, at least it's safe. Yeah, yeah. I, I call her Nani, but uh, yeah, her legal name is Wendy. <laughs> Wen- Wendy, okay. Like the song Butterfly, that has a lot to do with her, huh? Absolutely. It's kind of like we use nicknames instead of uh, to make it less personal so that everybody else could own it. Are you producing it yourselves or who's producing it? In this case, we had Kenny Lewis, who's worked with Boston and Striper, and he's in uh, the Boston area uh, for those songs. He helped mix, and uh, we had a guy that um, named Casper from out of, I think he was from Holland. 
um, do the co-producing. So I pretty much direct where the song's going and lay down the scratch, and um, then we let it run from there. Ah, and, and you're not too far away from Boston, huh? Within an hour. Within an hour? Okay. Uh, like, it, it's about a 40-minute ride, but, I mean, if we get traffic, you know, it could take me a little longer, but... I'm, like, right between Boston and Providence, like, in a V. And then I noticed uh, Plymouth Rock, or Plymouth. You're near Plymouth, aren't you, kind of? Yes, I'm about 20 minutes out of Plymouth, uh, straight down the 44 belt. You can run Route 44 east and west, and it goes right through Providence and into Connecticut. And um, But, yeah, it's the uh, Route 6, just up a little higher. Ah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm 20 minutes. That was, that was some of my stomping grounds were Plymouth. You know, I was high school and uh, all my high times. And uh, yeah, not all of them, but a lot of them. <laughs> Let's play Butterfly then. Frankie Denol, a song written in part about his lovely wife, Wendy. Absolutely. Thank you. And here it is on Mike's Daily Podcast. Okay, upon second hearing, I do hear the John Lennon. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. And here's today's podcast picture. The picture is of Basil the Boxer. I was walking him somewhere in the area of Podcaster Valley of Fairmont Ridge. And we were walking along, and they have all these cows that they allow to graze 
in a lot of the areas that belong to the East Bay Regional Park District. But they say, you know, be careful, keep your dog under control at all times, and you can see I have him on leash, because he really wanted to go play with that calf. And then the mother cow is seeing him, and, the, and there's all this this uh, deep plot complications, uh, intricacies, there I use that word again, in this picture. So you can see that at mikesdailypodcast.com. Mike, that's a cool picture. I like cows. It's true. She does. And next show, we're going to have part two, the finale of my intimate interview with Frankie Denol. Plus, we'll hear from Madame Rutabaga Valentino and Bison Bentley. My gosh, you love Amy Schumer. Oh, the comedian? Yeah, I saw this picture of her with Jennifer Lawrence and Aziz Ansari on like Thursday night on the beach somewhere. It's so funny, they're just hanging out. The, these big time celebrities. That I don't go in and see any other movies. I don't know what they're from, but the good job for them. They had Amy Schumer's uh, best friend apparently got engaged, and she said on Instagram, "Very happy for this skank. So happy for her." Mark, I got a whole bunch of leftover peas. You want some? Uh, that'd be great. All right, that's the end of the show, Benita. Okay. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your f- Thanksgiving weekend. I hate football. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.